Today's Museum Week hashtag is PlayMW, and what better place to play than a museum that has a life-size board game, a giant whale, and an exact copy of a Dutch trading ship. That's right, y'all. We're going sailing at the Schreepvaart, or Maritime Museum, in Amsterdam. The Maritime Museum is filled with countless interactive exhibits that make learning about sea life and maritime history of the Netherlands an adventure all on its own. Playing in a museum is always more fun with other people, so I brought my friend Nan along for the ride. Because if you had fun in a museum and no one was there to share it with you, did you really have fun in the first place? Of course you did. It's a museum. But still, bring your friends. Trust me. The museum is fittingly located in a formal naval storehouse called its Landszeemagazin, the National Sea Arsenal, in which would be kept all the shipbuilding materials, gunpowder, and cannons which are necessary for running a thalassocracy, an empire at sea. The museum exhibits a lot of fascinating stuff about the Dutch Golden Age, ship decorations, navigational equipment, and of course, lots and lots of model ships. Also, no big deal, but you can go inside a whale. Live your Pinocchio fantasy. Or Moby Dick. Whatever floats your boat. Their life-size board game titled Life on Board. See what they did there? Test your knowledge on all things related to a life at sea, all while you're interacting with museum objects. Nan and I would not make good sailors. Once you've done all the cool things inside, there's still more to discover outside. Behind the museum, there's a life-size reconstruction of the Amsterdam, an East India men ship from the 1700s. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the Dutch set sail in ships like these, known as Dutch East India men, to the Far East. You can climb on board and swing in the hammocks, steer the ship, hang out in the captain's quarters, and pretend to be Captain Morgan. We didn't do Titanic though, and now I deeply regret it. In keeping with today's Maritime Museum theme, today's woman in culture is Kainau Simons Tochter Hasselaar. The story of Kainau is a mix of truth and legend. Born in 1526, she was a wood merchant from the city of Haarlem who became a legendary folk hero for her fight against Spanish invaders during the Siege of Haarlem in 1573. The siege was one of many episodes during the Eighty Years' War that the Dutch had against the Spanish. During the fight, Kainau is documented as working tirelessly to transport earth and clay in order to help rebuild the city walls and defend Haarlem from the attack. Kainau's tale as a helpful civilian soon skyrocketed into glorifying her as a full-fledged soldier. By the 1800s, Kainau's story had grown so much that it was fabled that she led an army of 300 women against the Spanish. Of course, this story has been called into question many times. As early as 1872, Dr. C. Ekema pointed out obvious facts, like how neither she nor any other women were documented as war criminals after the Spanish took control. There also seems to be a lack of period accounts of other women fighting during the siege. What is true, though, is that after the war, Kainau resumed her role as a wood merchant and is thought to have died at the hands of pirates in 1588. So even though most of Kainau's story might not be true, she still sparks the imagination and is one badass lady. Thanks for coming along on that field trip with me, you guys. If you had fun on that adventure, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you want to come on more field trips with me in the future, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down there as well. This episode is brought to you in part by the Republic of Amsterdam Radio. They do an amazing podcast on the history of the Netherlands and a bunch of other really cool things. A link to their website and the podcast is just in my description below, so definitely go ahead and check them out. One last huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. If you're thinking of becoming part of the online community of Dig It With Raven, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The link to that is also in my description. Stay dirty, my friend.